Hello, everybody. My name is Christopher Shaw, and I'm going to be giving a quick presentation on OpenVPN. Um, so first, we'll start with what like a VPN is. So the basics of a VPN, um, VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. Um, VPNs send traffic between two or more devices on a network in an encrypted tunnel. So when a VPN connection is made, all the uh, network traffic is encrypted and sent over um, the internet, um, but in, encrypted, in an encrypted tunnel, when it is received on the other uh, area by the server, it is then decrypted, um, allowing you know one device to connect to another. So down here we see a uh, good example of it. You know, you're out in the world, you're connecting over an encrypted tunnel to the VPN server, and now your traffic is going out to the internet from right here. So it looks like your computer is right here when really you're right there. Um, so problems a VPN can solve. So a safe route out of um, you know a non-secure network, a public Wi-Fi, uh, road warriors, uh, you know maybe employees who work on the road. Um, need access to local corporate, uh, you know, services and stuff on the local network. They're using a VPN to stay safe when they're browsing the internet, when they're updating uh, information about their clients, um, connecting to local Ethernet subnets. So say you need to get into the 192.168.0.1 on your local network, you need to get into that. Um, you can VPN in. Um, home employ you know, employees who work from home would use a VPN to connect into a, a corporate uh, local network and then maybe connect to a, uh, a virtual machine once they're are connected into that, uh, you know, to get access to the things they need. Um, site to site. So if you have two, um, for example, you have two locations in your business and you need, uh, to, you know, to use the same exact server, well, then you may just set one site to have a virtual, um, you know, all of the traffic VPN back to the, the headquarters where, you know, um, all the traffic can be sent out to the internet. And if it needs to get to a local service, it can be routed towards it. Site to multi-site, same idea. And uh, also maybe if you need to bypass local network restrictions, for example, uh, you know, um, there's blocking, things they block on the local network that you need to get access to, or you're in a country that doesn't uh, give you full access to the internet and you need to get out, you could use a VPN to do that. Um, here's some quick uh, diagrams. So uh, this is the work from home employee right here, the remote worker. So uh, they connect to the internet. Um, uh, they have their uh, open VPN device over here and they're gonna connect into the VPN server um, so they will exist as a client of this machine. And once they're in their VPN into this device, now they have access to the local servers and, uh, you know, maybe their uh, other employees on the, on the network as well. Um, another example is the road warrior setup. So, uh, you know, you need to get access to your local machine, but you know, you're out at a hotel you're connecting out over the internet, um, through your router, you have it port forwarded to your VPN, uh, device. You are, then tunneled into this device here, and now you can access the internet through your local uh, device, and you get access machines on your uh, network. So, what is OpenVPN? So, OpenVPN is very flexible. Um, it, it can do a lot of things. So, um, it has the uh, standards of uh, encryption built in. Um, you use the certificate uh, SSL TLS uh, encryption is in there. Um, you can tunnel any IP subnetwork. Uh, or virtual Ethernet adapter over a single UDP or TCP port. Um, a lot of people like to put a TCP port 443 even, so it just looks like standard HTTPS traffic going over the network. Um, so it can't be uh, even detected as running VPN. So it's very, uh, very flexible and uh, supported by Linux, um, FreeBSD, Mac OS X, <clears throat> um, mobile, Windows, everything. So um, it's very flexible in that aspect. Two quick concepts. So um, one part of your configuration will be tap or ton. You pick one of these. And tap is basically um, when you use a tap connection, you will be uh, connecting at layer two, and you'll be part of the local Ethernet subnet. Um, so maybe you need a uh, net BIOS on the network. Well, then you would maybe want to use a tap. Um, ton layer three actually uses uh, layer three level connection. Um, so maybe when you use layer three, you would connect to a different subnet on the same local network, um, but you wouldn't be broadcasting, uh, uh, you know, layer two, like packets and stuff uh, across the network to the VPN device. It would exist on a, a different virtual LAN of the network. Um, and some quick uh, examples here. Um, so like, oh, where did we go there? So um, this right here, basically OpenVPN, the client side needs a, you know, client device. So uh, for Mac, we have a uh, tunnel Blick, Windows, you can download it right from OpenVPN's website. Um, Linux, depending on your distro, you can uh, just download uh, yum install OpenVPN or apt-get install OpenVPN. Um, on iPhone and Android, there's the OpenVPN Connect app. 
Here's an example on uh, the iPhone. And over here, this is Tunnelblick. So if you're on a Mac, um, you would load your uh, config file in here, um, and then you would just click connect, and uh, all your traffic would be routed through the uh, VPN. And you could also see a log if you were having issues to troubleshoot and stuff like that. Um, this is what a client configuration file looks like. So when you set up OpenVPN, uh, you need to get this file onto the client's machine. Um, this client, this file sometimes has the, uh, the key um, in it so that the uh, user can be authenticated. Um, and we see that this is a client, ton, so this is going to be on level three. We're going to be using UDP, um, the remote VPN server, um, port 1194, um, and then um, you know, basically all the other things here. So the, uh, the CA, um, you know, the client certificate, and the key are all determined right here. And then here's an example of OpenVPN Connect on Android. So this user uh, is VPNing in. We have the profile. So this is this profile right here is you know an example of I didn't mean to go back to that page of what we see right here is loaded in here. And now we put in the username and password and click connect. Um, and just a quick example of you know again now that we see so you have your client config file and that's authenticated right here. Um, example of OpenVPN on the server side. So um, a lot of deployments, people might want to use the access server. So this is one option. And the access server actually gives you a bunch of different options as far as um, you know, deploying your OpenVPN server. So you actually get a, a GUI um, right here. And you can see all the currently connected users. Um, you can do a lot of different uh, things in configuring this. And uh, access server is actually available on like um, Amazon and different cloud providers. So uh, you can very quickly uh, go to Amazon Web Services and open up an OpenVPN uh, cloud server. Um, and, and it's super scalable. So it, uh, you know, it, you can deploy it very quickly. Um, and you get a lot of different features with that. Um, you can also download OpenVPN and install it locally on a Windows server. Um, OSX, Linux, Raspberry Pis are great for this. And you could also even do it uh, on your own custom server on in the cloud or on Amazon Web Services. Um, one really cool thing uh, for OpenVPN is pyvpn.io. Um, so this is a one-liner. So you curl dash L, um, this right here, and then you pipe it into bash. And this script right here um, will do everything necessary. It'll walk you through installing OpenVPN on a Raspberry Pi. Um, this is a great way to get started with OpenVPN. Um, uh, just a notice of caution, you should probably uh, be weary if you ever curl a script and run it right into Bash. This is uh, uh, very dangerous, so it might be best to uh, curl this into a text file and review it, review the uh, the script first before running it. Um, so just a note on that, and then uh, just a quick example of what uh, PyVPN does. So it gives you these few tools right here, and um, so you can you know you can create a client OpenVPN profile. You can list all the clients that are connected to the server. Um, and different things like that. You can even uninstall it if you need to. So I definitely recommend checking that out. That's a great way to get started with OpenVPN. Um, again, just another diagram. Um, so um, right here we have the, the client um, who wants to get, say, let's say he's at work and he wants to access his machine at home. Um, so right here we see in the black, we see the physical, you know, we have the internet. Um, and then right here is the local network. So what he does is he sends um, a connection out. This is the UDP traffic in blue that is connecting to his local machine. And now we see that the tunnel is established between that machine to his machine um, so that he can get access, you know, he can get out from the local network and now his traffic is dumping out at home instead of being monitored here at, at the, uh, the local corporate proxy firewall. And here's a uh, uh, example diagram of a site-to-site uh, -site VPN. So for example, maybe they're using an access server to tie in um, uh, you know, this remote network over here to this network over here. So, so these two networks could exist in two physically different locations. And so what we see here is we have these machines, they connect to the switch and, uh, that might connect back here to the open VPN client device. Um, so what this device here does is this, you know, holds the authentication and this routes, this says, Hey, let's connect over here across the internet to this machine at the OpenVPN access server. And now all the traffic from this network is now sent back over the internet back to this network here. And now all these machines um, can talk to the same servers if they need to um, and stuff like that. So that's a, a good example there. And this is done a lot in uh, the corporate world. So maybe, you know, remote sites are, are you know, actually all connected with a VPN. Um, you know, that's one thing you don't, you might not think of uh, when you first think of setting up a VPN.
And if you don't have a Raspberry Pi, but you maybe, you know, you're thinking you do want to give this a try, you do want to set up an open, uh, you know, open VPN server, you do want to be able to, uh, you know, traffic, uh, you know, direct all your traffic out of, uh, you know, a public Wi-Fi or, or, or something like that. Um, if you have Amazon Prime, uh, something that's awesome to give it a, a shot to is the free, um, the free tier. So uh, Amazon gives uh, Amazon Prime users one uh, free year of uh, the free tier um, of Amazon Web Services. So you can try out all the different things over at Amazon Web Services. Um, and uh, the free tier gives you enough um, enough power to run uh, like a virtual Linux server. So basically right here, uh, if we were to continue, um, we could uh, quickly deploy a, uh, um, a Linux server running Ubuntu uh, with um, OpenVPN already installed. So this would be OpenVPN access server. So this would be with the GUI and uh, everything. And um, this is great because you can just quickly deploy it. Um, you can try it out. I recommend everyone do this. Um, if you were running OpenVPN say on, on the Raspberry Pi and you didn't have the access server, you didn't have the GUI and everything built in, um, this is a cool uh, thing over on GitHub. This is the OpenVPN monitor. So um, this is just a basically it looked like a, a website built in Bootstrap, and uh, you can install it uh, onto your Raspberry Pi, and uh, it would give you a nice little GUI to uh, take a look at your VPN uh, server, and you could see you know everyone who's connected, um, you could see where they're at in in the world, um, and different stuff like that. So, uh, and these are my sources here. Um, I recommend everyone check out uh, OpenVPN.net. Um, there's a ton of ton of um, great resources on there, and uh, and give it a try. Thank you for watching. Bye.